storytelling, I think, is when you consciously seek to make meaning for other people and you do it using the ancient technology of story. All we need for powerful business storytelling, we know from our experience of home life. Anyone who's got a kid and wants to get them to sleep suddenly becomes an incredibly expert storyteller. And kids know you need a hero. And the hero is usually somebody that's kind of frustrated or itchy. You need allies and you need a nemesis and you need adventure and you need ups and downs and you need surprise and you need choices. And we know it, but we don't necessarily include that in our business lives where very often we feel like, oh, we've got to be professional. We don't need to have ups and downs. It's all got to be positive and we can't talk about the darker side of things because we've all got to be terribly bright. I think that's breaking down. I think people realize that in order to be authentic they need to tap into the full gamut of storytelling and bring that into their business lives. That's why I'm here. What is the story that I want to create for myself, for my team, for my business? When people ask you about the future don't just give them your plan, give them your story. Stories thrive on difficulties and challenges. Build that in, don't try and minimize it. And include yourself in the story. People want a bit of you in it. And that can be an anecdote or something, or it can be a way in which what you're talking about is in line with your values. In a world where people are assessing which story to choose, who you are is important. People want managers that are humans. I think you know, successful businesses of the future are gonna be ones where working in them is meaningful for people.